Hey guys, this video was mainly created just to show off the Warhammer, I've been talking about it, uh, I had an argument with my brother about it, and so I figured I'd put together some footage that shows a little bit of kind of the first person gameplay of kind of this crowd control weapon that you just go along sweeping along. I like to call it sweeping with a Warhammer because that's basically what it is, you're just sweeping rats and guys back and forth with this motion, uh, as you can kind of see in this very very bad footage here. You'll, you'll see in this uh, clip specifically that I get it surrounded a couple times because, like right there, for instance, I take hits that I shouldn't be taking and get out of position. But one thing that you see from the benefit of this is just the wide sweeping angle you can hit. If you hit the angle just right, you can swing in 180, 270 degree hits and clean up very, very easily with this weapon. So very fun, very easy to use, and very versatile. So part of the strength of this weapon is holding a nice little easy choke. Uh, you'll see here that you know we get kind of backed up here, so very easy to hold this corner right here. You just stand in front, and they can walk in. You can very easily cleave a very wide angle, like like you saw in the last video, but without having to really worry about your sides or going back and forth at all. So the very simple approach is a lot like you're just seeing here. Hold the front, swing back and forth, and you can easily kill so many rats at one time. It's just outrageous. I saw him up on the clip and they jumped From this perspective here, I really just wanted to show some of the versatility of the weapon as a whole. This is really strong for not only crowd control, but killing the uh, storm vermin as well. They're really easy to kill. One hit can sometimes take them out in a single hit. If you've got enough power level, you can one hit these guys, but you'll always, always, always be able to two hit them with two, uh, two hits either to the face or to the body. It doesn't really matter. Headshots are cute, but they don't really make a big difference in your time to kill on these guys. Uh, oh gosh, so the other thing, benefit of this clip is after we get swarmed here, is you know, the team ends up dividing a little bit, and you'll see me kind of turtle up in a corner and do this sweeping back and forth motion to hold out against kind of the hordes of rats that end up trying to surround me. And it shows, again, the versatility of the weapon and being able to protect yourself and your team because if they're dead, they can't really kill your team. It's kind of a very basic idea, but it works wonders. For this section here, I went ahead and slowed it down just a little bit so you can see. One thing I want to point out when you're doing this whole sweeping motion or any with any melee weapon, really, this principle really applies. You notice as I'm clearing one angle, I'm trying to move into the space that I created, right? And so you'll see, you take a swing and say I cleared the left there, I move immediately into that left space and then move right back to the right as I'm swinging to clear it. And it buy, you're basically buying little micro bits of space that you can move into that stalls the enemy hits by just even a fraction of a second just to buy you a moment. When you get it right, you don't take damage, and when you get it wrong or off timing, you'll sometimes take a hit here where you may have not hit the angle right or hit the complete angle, but it is a general principle to follow. Last but not least, these last two clips here are just showing some of the potential of the dwarf as a whole to clutch. It does show the weapon, but it's really, the, especially the Ironbreaker class, you are so resilient and so tanky that you can survive so much punishment and make plays with it as well. Uh, does allow you to be their front line, but also to make plays in really bad situations. So you see we're playing champion difficulty in all these clips and run into four Chaos Warriors. We got a couple of other specials just to make life interesting, and it just the playmaking potential you have on this hero is really, really fun, really, really enjoyable. And having a weapon that allows you to make plays is one of the reasons you can really enjoy it. We have a health potion, <laughs> but I don't think we'll have any time.